No, I mean like not keep it, but like use it. Yeah, but if I'm using it, it's gonna be kept, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, should we start? <clears throat> okay, voice ready? back to my channel this is miss lauren lee 11 this is my little sister jay so lovely i know you guys have been asking for her and she is back guys we're gonna have fun today i'm going to be doing a wet look hair dyed wash and go products i'll be using are world of curls curl activator and it says softens and moisturizes hair i've got a video on that if you want to check it out and this is something i actually haven't used before so it's the curls unleash color blast and it's sangria so it's the red one. So I'm going to be doing an ombre. Should we do this as a talking video or should we just get on with it? Yeah, let's talk. They might want to get to know us. Okay, let's get to know us, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Look at these loxes. Washed and detangled. Yes, there you go. Washed and detangled. Now I'm not going to put any leave-in conditioner in because it will start to bubble and react with the hair gel. So I'm just putting in the hair gel and the wax. Guys, tell me in down below in the comments if you think my sister should start her own hair channel. Maybe. <laughs> So I'm just going to do this section by section. Oh, by the way, guys, got a few new piercings. You right, only so live once. What was that? You only live once. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take the gel and I'm just going to run it through the section. Now, guys, you're just going to want to use this sparingly because if you put too much on there, the hair will start to become sticky. If you are familiar with co-activators, a little goes a long way. So I'm not raking it through. I'm just smoothing it down her strand. So let me ask you as well. What should we discuss? We shall talk about our sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've heard that we look alike. Do you think we look alike? I don't think we do. <laughs> I don't think we do. <laughs> Alright, so, Jane, how old are you? That's a secret. She's a lot younger than me. <laughs> I am in my something. That's a secret too. <laughs> I have a question for Lauren. My question is, when starting YouTube, how did you find it? Like, did you think people were going to judge you? Absolutely. And then I got to a point that my fear overrode that. Overrode? <laughs> <laughs> overrode? No, that is my not fear. right. <laughs> I lost my fear. <laughs> I got rid of my fear because I actually love what I do. I love to give information. If there's information that I know, and I'm not talking about gossip, if there's information that I know and I know it too a tea and that's just through my personal experience i love to share that with people because i like to see people win i kind of started my channel off the back of that and i'm like i've got information about my hair that i need to tell everybody mm. <laughs> and obviously you do get comments initially it did bother me because to an extent um i can be not so much now when i first started my channel i was more of a sensitive person but when you're in this type of business guys you gotta have a tough Thick skin yeah. even dislikes and stuff used to bother me us don't. <laughs> so at the end of the day, if I'm just reaching one person with my videos, then my goal is done. But fortunately for me, I've got all you lovely viewers and subscribers, so I'm surpassing my goal. <laughs> I have another question. Go on then. I understand you're on 15k subscribers. Yeah. So what is your next goal? Other than hair, I understand you know that's what you specialize in. Um, I think. I'm going to be sharing my experience about, actually, let me go back to the first question you asked. So 15,000 <laughs> subscribers. Okay, so my next goal is basically, and it's not that I don't have a goal set, it's just because I feel that when I put a goal out, I kind of put too much pressure on myself. Mm -hmm. My goal is to be consistent. Um, I think this is the first time I've really been consistent and had so many ideas that I want to put out on my channel. So I think that's my goal, just to stay consistent, and with consistency you get growth. In regards of, what was the other question? <laughs> oh, my other oh. expertise, yeah. So yeah, like, what else I want to talk about stuff that I've been doing in quarantine. Quarantine diaries. Yeah, basically. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I want to talk about the stuff that I've been doing. And what I've been doing, guys, is a lot of yoga and meditation, because it's so important to keep your mind right. Especially being locked in the house with two kids. <laughs> but even if you're not, even if you're just by yourself, again, that can just like, you know, be very taxing on your mind. I think everybody's just gone through a hard year and a half to two years. I want to talk about how I homeschooled. To be honest, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be in the sense that teaching my kids their subjects, it wasn't hard because initially I went to university to become a teacher. 
and I've decided not to do it. With uni, I personally don't think I will be going because I feel like there's other ways to get to where you want to be. Obviously, there's some career paths that you will need a degree, but I personally do not want to follow that, you know, traditional route. I agree because I've seen two sides of it. Obviously, I've gone to university. I've worked for people for like 15 years straight out of uni, and then I decided once I had my daughter, I weren't going to work for anyone else again and decided to obviously start my channel and looking into opening up a business. I get where you're coming from. The, the lessons that I've learned along the way is to literally do what makes you happy. I felt like I had something to prove. Yeah. I didn't want to let people down. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful I've got my degree. And um, she's still using it to this day. Still using it to this day. <laughs> you know, got my letters after my name. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your next plans? What are, okay, what are you currently doing now and what are your next plans for... What's your five-year plan? My five-year plan is to go into banking now some pathways within banking will need a degree a contradiction i'm gonna do an apprenticeship you learn on the job and you're getting paid for it mm. some people are not like built to study 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 mm. whereas some people like to you know yeah. learn on the job and i feel like i'm one of those people the best advice or opinion i can give my sister is figure it out for yourself so <laughs> that's what mom says no it's true you'll be having a lot of people say yeah but if you want to do this you're gonna have to do this and blah 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 you got to understand a lot of the things people say is fear-based as well. Mm -hmm. And it might be fear-based in the sense that they can't do it themselves for whatever reason. They might be projecting their fears onto you. Yeah, yeah or they just can't see how you could be able to possibly achieve that. But knowing me, when I want something done, I will get it done, trust me. <laughs> That's very true. But the thing is, I do procrastinate. <laughs> so do but I. But overall, I will get it done. For me to be able to get to where I am today, there's a lot of lessons I've learned in life. Not to say, you know, I learned the hard way. Life just teaches you certain things that you need to know to get to where you are today, if that makes sense. No, 100%. That's just my big sisterly advice. So, what else do we think our subscribers are <laughs> Yes, to our know? subscribers. <laughs> what else would they want to know? Would you like a podcast? Yeah, do you think we should do a podcast? Because there's such a big age difference between us. <laughs> <laughs> she teaches me things about current trending things now that it just goes over my head. So, because I'm See, I'm not with that kind of crowd. Whereas I have old school experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah podcasts. podcasts. I believe, you know, because you're I was gonna say customers. You're subscribers. <laughs> We're talking about customers. <laughs> they can reach out to you immediately. I think I feel a bit nervous about No, I'm excited. That. See, I'm projecting my fear. So guys, let me just quickly show you. This is what we've got so far. Right, lean forward a bit. Here you go. This is what we've got so far. Lovely. Right, so now I'm gonna ombre it. She wants the ends ombre. -ed. Wearing gloves, guys, because apparently my sister was saying that this stains your hands. Right, so okay, I'll give you another question. What was the number one thing quarantine taught you about yourself? To be more out there, like, you know, like, even though I'm suffering from anxiety myself mm. as well, mm. you got to also just take chances. With me, I was already there because obviously otherwise I wouldn't have started my channel and what have you. But I think for me, it's to kind of not pull back on work, but to realise who is actually there and basically spend more time with family and not just be all about work, work, work. That's a big one, actually. Yeah, I, I, I miss that. It's been in time with my family as well because before my sister used to come around like a lot and the house used to be really full like with her kids and my other sister with her kids. And, like, that's what I like, like mm. having so much people around you, you know. Mm. Even though, mm. like I said, the house is really full and I love that. Yeah, just having the option, yeah. just having free will. <laughs> yeah, and I think having that taken away, they felt restricted. That's what I felt, very restricted. Mm. Sometimes I don't really like to go out. I feel like if any opportunity for me to go out now, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, because every summer, me, the kids, my mum, yeah. we always go places. Jay comes sometimes. That was before, sometimes. that was before. I'm going to be the first one in the car. <laughs> <laughs> There's no waking up at 8 o'clock. We're no, going to be no. out at 8 o'clock. <laughs> So it's summer, let's get on to summer. What, what, what are we doing for summer? I just want to go out to like loads of new restaurants. I want to go back and to Florida, I'm not going to lie. Nah, I want to spend time in, the, in London. Nah, I want to go to Cornwall. <laughs> yeah, she didn't like Florida. I don't know why. No, I did, I did, I did. I did. <laughs> she liked it, but I think she was homesick. Do you like it? It's popping. Do you like it, guys? I'm going to have to let this dry, guys, and I will come back later on, and I will let you know how long it took to dry. What I've done with my hair wax before, is that once it's dried, I like to just give it another little bit of coat just so it just becomes a bit more vibrant. Why do you try this on your hair as well? Can you take it? No, you have it. No, I mean like not keep it but like use it. 
Yeah, but if I'm using it, it's going to be kept, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> then it'll be kept. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's nice, dude. Yeah, I love it. Right, okay, guys. So, let me just quickly turn you around. I'm going to dry it again with the hair dryer in about an hour or so. And then I'm going to come back to you once it's fully dried. If it's not vibrant enough, I'm going to apply some more. But what do you think so far, guys? All right, guys. So, we'll see you in a sec. Guys, so we are back. It's been about an hour. Hair's still wet, not as damp as it was before. So I'm going to dry it in sections. So I've just reapplied more. A bit more vibrant. So we're going to leave it to air dry. <laughs> but it looks lovely. Very nice. Hi guys, so the hair is nearly dry. So look at your hair. Because it's nice. Look at this guys. Look at the popping of the colour. Look at that. Hair's dried. You see she's got a white top on and it's got on there because that's where it was wet. But other than that, the hair is lovely. Still slightly tacky, not sticky. But I do think that's because of the gel that I've used. But guys, what do you think? Are you going to try this? I've had purple in my hair before, not from this brand. And I definitely, definitely would try this. What do you think, sis? I love this. I wanted to say, I also bought the gold one as well. So I will be trying that very soon. There you go, guys. What do you think? All right, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave any comments down below. Sorry, go on. If you want me to come back, 500 likes. All right, guys. So I will see you later. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.